What's up guys, this is Gabe from SNP Speed Innovations. Topic of today's video is double check your work. We had a long three days on this badass Camaro behind this big block twin turbo methanol 16 injectors. That's the topic here. So um, we're on a Holley Dominator. We're running a Holley injector driver and um, had an issue with uh, the secondary injection not putting out. And I hate it when they don't put out. So, the problem was, um, when, one, we didn't have one of the wires um, ran it from one, one part of the connector to the other that tells it to give it a negative output. And uh, the other one was the dip switches. Um, I'm the first one to admit when I do something wrong or I miss something. I missed this one. I did. I did the math. Um, volts divided by ohms. And he's got billet atomizers, 700s on the secondaries. And did the math. Comes out to about 10 amps per injector. Going through the instructions. And, and I did the math when we were wired up the car because we got to make sure we have enough current supply. Um, big enough relay, uh, fuses, stuff like that. So when we're trying to supply our power sources. So we did the math. I knew it was 10 amps per injector. And, and just want to make sure that everything was happy there. But when we go through the instructions, this is my first time doing an injector module. We go through the instructions. It gives us eight different selections on the dip switches. And the dip switches are on the back side of the injector driver module. And it gives it gives you different selections for different style and different types of injectors. Um, one through eight. And nine being a test uh, cycle. So anyway, you go through it, you look at it, you're like, okay, for these injectors, billet atomizers, anything 325 um, pound per hour to 800, select option number seven. We did. Selected that. Well, going through the instructions, beat my head against the wall, can't figure out what the hell's going on. Um, what we found was the, um, we did the math, and we have 10 amps. But, if you look inside that selection, it says 8.3. And we wired in the diagnostic wires from the injector module into the Holly, so we were data logging it, monitoring it to see what was going on. And we kept getting a code number nine. We get this code number nine. Unable to reach peak uh, uh, current peak, peak current. So how do we keep getting this code? What's going on? So finally, I was on my way home last night, long drive home, and I'm going through the instructions again. I'm like, oh, you know what? We got 10 apps. They keep saying 8.3 in that number seven uh, selection. 8.3. We got 10. 8.3. We got 10. You know what? Let's see what option number eight is. The exact same injector setup, just 10 amps instead of um, instead of 8.3. So I come in this morning, cold. The engine temp was about 30 degrees. This is a methanol twin turbo deal, big injectors. Couldn't get the thing started. Put heaters on it, warmed it up, warmed the oil up. Finally got it running. Took a couple hours of charging the batteries and trying it, not burn up the starter, nothing like that, you know. Finally got the fire and run, whacked the throttle, and then we dropped the enable percentage down to 3%. Whacked the throttle and everything worked, everything's happy. We put a Noid light on it, back probe, the back side of the injector connector, and everything's blinking. We can tell in the field mapping that everything's happy, and we're good to go. So, moral of the story, double check your work, do the math, and uh, double check your work. Hate to be wrong, but when I am wrong, I admit it. All right, guys, thank you very much for paying attention and tuning in. And uh, we'll keep you posted on our next venture. Thanks.